I'm recording this at 20 past 8 on the 12th of January. It's a Friday. I wrote two posts on X uh, yesterday. Uh, one of them went viral. I think I'm as I post this, I'm currently trending on Twitter. And I just want to read both of them to you because see, these are some of my thoughts and I'd like to hear some of your thoughts. Um, this one I posted at 25 past 3 in the afternoon on the 11th of January. It's currently on 22,000 views. The other one I posted at, I'll tell you now, uh, 20 past 10 in the evening on the 11th of January, same day, 94,400 views. So let me read the first one first. I'm a serious pessimist. Shout out to the 70 judges at The Hague listening to the South African team calling out Israel for potential genocide at the Gaza Strip. This is at the ICJ. I don't have much intel and will need to read up. But Mina, I don't trust the ICJ, nor the UN, nor the ICC. Do you really think Israel will stop? Why did they fail to stop Russia and Ukraine? Why were Bush and Obama not charged with war crimes and genocide? The State Capture Commission locally was a fuck up. Cyril Ramaphosa's bank statements are still sealed. The arms deal from way back then stays floating. There's, there was no foul play found with Palapal. I do not trust lawyers. I do not trust judges. I do not trust courts. Why would anyone think this exercise will yield anything substantial? Like I said, I'm a pessimist. Maybe smarter folk, you guys can school me on why this is important and what potential real outcomes we can expect. 22,000 views, 163 likes. The second one is this one with 94,700 views. It's probably going to get more views as well. I'm really finding it hard to celebrate this ICJ thing. I'm really struggling. I must be fucked in the head. We have a thug president and a mafia ANC that is looting the nation. We have a wealthy white minority that still refuses to share the economy. The land hasn't been restored. The, the land that was forcefully taken during apartheid it hasn't been re restored under the NC government. But we must applaud some legal parading. I must be missing something, I'm sorry. Those judges and lawyers can't take a stand to jail apartheid enforcers. They can't jail corrupt politicians. They can't fight for land to be restored to its, own, its owners or hold corrupt business people like Marcus Yuster to account or imprison Cyril Ramaphosa and others. But we must believe they'll stop serious carnage in Israel and Palestine. Is it because the world cares about the Jews and Arabs there and doesn't give a fuck about Africans here? Is it because the ANC and wealthy whites don't give a fuck about locals here? Is it because everyone applauding is grandstanding because the trend just looks cool? What exactly stops the exact same people, including Umam Naledi Pando, for standing up against injustices here at home? I'm really struggling. Somebody school me, please. What the fuck are we actually celebrating? And you know what? I got a lot of comments. There's a lot of comments if you go and check this out on X on Twitter. My whole thing was this. Two things can exist at once. We can fight injustices here. We can lend our voice to the people of Palestine or be pro-Israel if that's how you so lean. My whole thing, even though we were supported during apartheid, is that those countries that were supporting us weren't doing a better job supporting us than fixing their things at home. And they were also not being hypocrites at home where they shield rubbish at home, but they're happy to call out the apartheid government. That's the issue we have here. We've got a corrupt ANC that is destroying our country with the help of their wealthy funders, including largely white people and some black people who are watching this country get destroyed, but they want to grandstand on platforms and be like, oh, we condemn what's happening there. It's convenient and it's frustrating for people like me. But like I said, I'm happy for you guys to school me because maybe there's something I'm missing that you guys understand better. I'm happy for people to take a stand against injustice anyway. If you feel human rights are being violated, I'm happy. Call out the human rights of Barack Obama and George Bush in the Middle East. Call out the injustices in Russia and Ukraine and hold people to account. We are applauding our lawyers there who are not doing that brilliant, excellent work here at home. Marikana, life is demanding, people that are dying, and, and, and. What am I missing, guys? What am I missing? Please school me. Or am I just a pessimist and a loser and there's something that is wrong with me? But if you guys can explain to me why these people can be um, celebrated elsewhere, not here, I'll understand. Imagine Springbok rugby players playing the shittest rugby here, but then shining on the global stage elsewhere. It would mean they don't respect us here. Pay you all the black pen. I want to hear your thoughts.